Hey everyone, welcome to 100 Days of Making Comics with me, Gazbot. It's day six, and we're starting the party! My luck's holding out. Man, I need to shave. I've been talking a lot about how it's been overcast lately. Hasn't been raining. Well, finally it's raining. It's, uh, it's pretty good rain. It's been raining all day and it's kind of coming down pretty decent. People here are losing their minds because it's California. They're not used to rain. To me, this is a regular rain, a normal rain. But to them, it's a torrential downpour. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's that. <sighs> well, I'm back home. Had to do some shopping, get some cat food things. Did some emails and other stuff, but I, I feel like I've been going since I got up. I did get up late, but I have not been productive. Did no artwork whatsoever, not even client work. Did buy this little transformer, but that's not helpful. So I'm going to go uh, to the bathroom because I'm a human, and then I'm going to do my 30 minutes on the werewolf project before I do anything else because it's like 6.30 and I don't want to do dinner and everything else. And then, I don't know, I'll be up late anyway. But the point is I'm going to prioritize it and do it right now. Transformer. Yes. Yes. Well, yeah. 45 minutes about. I... This sucks. Yeah. Alright. Yes. Four. Claws four until we... Hi, <laughs> finally, right? Here we are. I'm done, I did about 45 minutes. Let me show you. The page I worked on yesterday, so this is page two. Uh, I didn't get as much done. I don't remember how much I spent on that. I was only gonna do a half hour. Only had three panels done. Did a little bit more, 45 minutes. Um, these three, actually this one's very detailed. All of them are more detailed than this, I think, because I was trying to problem solve a little bit and I've got two, three panels left to do on this page. So. I didn't get as much volume done, but I figured out some more problems here than I thought I would. Um, yeah. By the way, my last video at the end of day five, I said I might work on the horror, but I'd let you know I didn't because I had to edit and put that video together. And it's, I think it was like a half hour video, which meant it took me like an hour-ish to, to edit and then another half hour to upload and do everything. So once again, there's the double-edged sword when you're doing these videos. <laughs> that was there the whole time. And this, whatever. When you're doing these videos where they keep you accountable, they keep you motivated, but it does take extra time. So I am glad I'm not doing these every single day. But inevitably, when I put them together, I'm going to lose a couple hours. So I'm, I, I didn't work on the horror because I did the video, is my point. Um, I'm going to do a little work on the horror now. i got to get some client work done, too. My mom's coming tomorrow evening, so I'm going to be able to get some more time done. I don't know. i got a lot of stuff going on, so I better get to it and stop talking to you people. Okay. Hey, it's late, like three in the morning, um, early, whatever, on uh, day six still. Didn't do any work on the horror. I had to get some client work done. I did do the werewolf stuff, so don't worry, I, I fulfilled that. Um, and I realized, I do this a lot. I don't blow my deadlines, but I often forget and like think I have more time than I do. Perfect example, I have this job I was talking about that I knew all of them are due at the end of the month, but one of them was due sooner but I thought it was later and it's actually due in like four days or something like that. So I sent him some revised roughs and I'll do it in the next few days. If I can do it during the day tomorrow, great, because then it'll be before my mom gets here. But she's getting here at like five and I've been getting up at like 12, so maybe not. But uh, the point is, I'm, uh, this is the end of day six. I did my world stuff, I didn't do horror stuff, did do some client stuff. Should have done more client stuff, but I couldn't because I didn't send the roughs in earlier. So I can't proceed any further because I forget what time and space is and I make a Bad time traveler? No, that's not true. I'd make a great time traveler. If anybody out there, I'm your guy. Yeah. Coming at you, it's day seven. Yeah, it's me, Gazbot. I'm still tired. Didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Still need to shave. Shower. It's a common theme. Hey, welcome to the morning. I'm disgusting. Anyway, um, I, uh, yeah, what did I do? I don't know. Uh, nothing new to report from since yesterday, but uh, today my mother will be here in like five or six hours, and I... Did get my roughs approved for the other job I was talking about, so I have a few days to get that final done. And I just picked up another um, client piece, uh, corporate caricature. Not a big job, but again, just something I didn't expect to have. Um, you know, good for money, bad for time. And I asked them if I could get that to them in about two weeks after my mom leaves. Usually I get stuff done with them within a week. 
They're pretty flexible though because they come, there's a client that's come back to me for years and they're like, hey, here's another person we need done. And sometimes I can get it done in like a day or two, but sometimes it's like, well, I have other stuff going on and they've paid me before to do rush jobs. But the point is, I think they realize that it's not like I'm working for them. They just show up and like, hey, when can you get this? So if they let me push that back for two weeks, that'll make my life easier. But if not, I'll, whatever, that means they'll pay me more money. So either way, that'll be okay. Sorry for walking around down here. I don't know why I'm such a walkie woo. Woo? And suddenly I'm stationary. Um, so I've been debating on the best way to go about my day. I need to go to the store to pick up a, subs a subscription, a prescription. I need to do a little last minute cleanups. At some point I'll need to go to the airport to pick up my mother. I need to do my 30 minutes um, and a few other things. I take a shower, everything I just talked about. So I think I'm gonna do my 30 minutes because today might get crazy later on and I don't wanna miss out and make a mistake or have to be up late even though I'm up late anyway. You know what I'm saying. I'm gonna do my 30 minutes right now and then I'm gonna clean myself up. Then I'm gonna go do my out of the house stuff. Then come home, work on cleaning the house and if I have time work on client work, then go get my mother. I probably won't have time for client work. Hey, uh, it's just before midnight on day seven. I did my work. Did I show you? I don't think I showed you. I got sidetracked. Q was recording a show, so I couldn't record. Uh, and then my mom came. She's here now. Um, as predicted, I didn't get any client work done, but I did get my 30 minutes. Uh, let me show you in case I didn't already. All right, so here is page two. This is what I had previously done, and today I basically did these three panels. Um, which, and this here is text that I've whited out so you can't see, but it's like, usually I draw like a caption box or a word balloon, but this is white text that's going to be on a darker background. So I had to actually put it in a little bit. Uh, and then this is one large panel with two inset panels. And I actually did a little bit of drawing on this one. Um, probably need to do a little bit more work on this one, but, um, cause with the way I have the panels laid out, uh, the caption box is laid out. I'm not sure if that'll fit all the dialogue I need. Maybe I need to trim the dialogue. Maybe I need to rearrange it. This was sort of a first pass. And it's funny because looking at this page in general compared to the first one, which let me turn on the first one real quick here. That's the first one, which I have the opacity turned down. So I'll bring the opacity up. There we go. You can see how like we're going from that and that's kind of similar, but then we have that, you know, and then we go from that to that. And this is like uh, something I notice that happens a lot of times when I'm doing like rough layouts, the first couple pages are basically really rough stick figures. And then the further along you go, they almost start to become like rough pencils. Um, but that's not always a bad thing. And I'm not worrying about it. The downside would be that you want to keep it loose so you can get different ideas and figure things out and not get married to things in the beginning. So you don't want to spend a lot of time working on something you might have to change or working on something that because you worked on it so long, now you don't want to change it. Um, the upside is like working on the horror now, uh, issue three, it's all laid out and I'm working on the penciling, uh, digital penciling that is. And the first couple pages were rough cause they were as rough as that one or worse. Like just like blobby stick figure. Like what was I even drawing here? And as I've gone, it's become clearer. And then some of the pages I'm on now, it's like, oh, these are like almost penciled already. So it's like the, 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 the what is this? I don't know. This is the workflow and it speeds up over time because I put more work in the previous phase. I don't know. I'm not, I guess what I'm saying is there's advantages and disadvantages to that happening and I'm not going to fight it. I'm just going to go with it. Um, also I'm thinking that panel in the middle I was talking about might need, I'm looking at it over here. That's what I'm looking at. Might need to be revised, but if it does, it's going to, I'm probably going to want to cut out some of the dialogue rather than redraw a bunch of stuff because then it just doesn't need that much dialogue or that much text. I should say it's not actually spoken word. Uh, I'm going to move on and do page three and four because that's where I think the big issues, if there are any, are going to arise. I'm not doing that now. I'm just sort of telling you what I'm thinking about. Uh, what I'm doing now is closing out day seven, but I wanted to mention that yesterday, again, catching up on people's videos, I was watching uh, Thomas Clement's video. Uh, he's also doing the 100 days right now. And uh, today, while I was doing this, I watched Scott Circlin of Circworks uh, has, he's doing, he's doing his 100 days. He's also doing the cover of the new anthology as well as some interior stuff. I think he's doing an interior story. Yes, he is doing an interior story as well as the cover. That was what his whole video is about. But the video was like 29 minutes or something like that. So it works out perfectly. Sometimes I like to do that instead of setting a timer, put a video on. And I know when the video is done, well, hey, I've done my 30 minutes. So that's what I did today. I used Scott Circlin as a timer. So thank you, Scotty. Anyway, that's it for day seven. Moving on. Hutto. Ken! Dumb. All right, it's still day seven. It's about two in the morning. Um, my mother's asleep. Q's asleep. The cats are awake because they want me to feed them. So I'm going to give them some food. I also need to take out the garbage cans. Oh, I forgot to do that. So that's awesome. I could do that at two in the morning, make everyone happy. Um, but what am I doing? Well, I... 
I was working on the Hard Ray 4, not drawing, not writing, but once again, lettering. And I, I don't know how much time I spent, a half hour, 45 minutes, kind of going over what was given to me, making decisions, deciding if I need to make revisions. Because a lot of times I have to make decisions based on, it, it, sometimes it's an it's a aesthetic choice. Did the letterer do it a way that isn't how I would have done it, but it's totally fine? Did the letterer do it a way that isn't how I would have done it and I hate it? Usually not. <laughs> um, if, it's, if, it's, if I absolutely hate the way they did it, then I'll say something, but usually I don't. If it's just a matter of preference, and like maybe I would have done it a little different, I don't feel the need to micromanage. You know, there's a lot of stuff they're doing that I wouldn't have done it that way that's much better or just different and not necessarily better or worse. But sometimes there are things where I feel like for the sake of clarity or continuity, regardless of who's right or wrong artistically, like, I think there's an objective thing to point out. There is some discussion, too, like, hey, I kind of feel this, but do what you want, or what do you think about this? But this is an example of something where it feels a little more concrete, so I'll share it with you. This is the kind of faded art, and this is the art, uh, the lettering he just put in. It's a cool sound effect, it's got this cool crackle and, and a, you know, nice arc to it, and it's like, whee! And this is great, except right before it. It's the same character, the same sound effect, and it's like winding up like Wee! And now he sent this the other day and I said, great, looks good. I think I might have said something like, make sure make this a little smaller, might even, but so it like ramps up and it gets this Wee! Looks good, I approved it, awesome. But then today, I got this, and I actually kind of like this better. But this doesn't match that at all. And if it didn't match any of this, but at the end it turned into this kind of black crackly, I'd be okay with it. Or if this sort of electric E continued over here, I'd probably be okay with it. But I don't like that it completely changes from one panel to the next when it's supposed to be a smooth continuation of the noise just getting louder and more intense. And this is an example where I don't think it's me saying I like this font better than, you know, like I want to change the font you chose or I like the placement different or I have some sort of opinion that is different than yours and may or may not be right, but because I'm the creator and I'm, you know, paying you well, we did it in trade, but you know, it's not that. It's... I. As the creator, I feel, and I could be wrong, but I feel like it's an objective thing of like, it might be a creative choice to change the font from panel to panel of the same sound effect, but I don't think so. I mean, well, here's the thing. It absolutely could be a creative choice, but the way I view things, the way I view art and comics and the lens through which I see everything, not the minutia and how I like things, and the, but just like comics in general, I feel like I'm making the right call. I might not be. I might you know, not even me the majority I think I am, but I can't help the way my brain works. I'm like, that's just wrong. It's just wrong. And I'm not pooping on my letterer. I like my letterer as a person and as an artist. This is a small example that I just wanted to share where it helps me decide when to say something and how much to push back because I don't want to give a ton of revisions because I'm an artist. I don't like getting a ton of revisions, which brings me to another point. Why am I doing this at two in the morning? I could do it tomorrow. There's not really a deadline because as an artist, I hate not getting revisions. I, for whatever reason, he's been cranking out the pages the last couple days. He's just like, you know what? I'm going to start cranking them, which is great. And I don't want to slow up that momentum. And I know when I'm waiting for days and days to get notes, I'm like, oh, why is this taking so long? I have free time now. And then the next day I'm busy and I finally get the notes. So he sent this to me today. So I wanted to get back to him today. Didn't have to. He didn't ask me to. That's just the way I feel about working. But anyway, that's really the end of day seven now. The cats are eating. It's day eight. It's day eight. It's day <laughs> It's day eight. Anyway, um, this morning I did a little bit of horror lettering email stuff. Nothing too crazy, but I worked on that a little bit. Uh, my mom is in town. And uh, I basically hung out with her all day. I was taking down Christmas decorations, doing housework while she's watching movies. And we're sort of chatting and catching up. And then we're going to go out to dinner when Q gets home from work in a little while. Uh, it's about 6 o'clock. I got up quite early today. Well, early for me, being like 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm going to try to, right now, Mom's watching the end of a movie uh, that I'm not particularly loving. So I'm like, all right, you know what? You finish this. I'm going to go do computer for 30 minutes. So this is my 30 minutes that I'm going to start now. Ah. All right, so I just did a quick 30. Didn't really have the time to do more. I don't really, I don't know. I was feeling kind of blocked today. I, I was starting the layout on page three and I thought page three was going to be where I need the mo most revision. And I actually think it's going to be page four or to be more precise, the end of page three going into page four is where I might add, remove panels, switch things around. But I, I don't know. I wasn't loving the first panel I had for this. So I worked on it for a minute and I needed... I needed slash wanted to do a little bit more werewolf reference. So I started, I grabbed some reference and then I just went down that path of doing another werewolf study design for today. 
And this is the werewolf. This is from an old Genesis game called Altered Beast. And you can see my version of it here. It's I didn't quite get it as spot on as when I did the werewolf from the old TV show. I think uh, I could definitely stand to do a few more passes, but it's in the ballpark. I think the main thing is having the fire come down is what's going to make it recognizable if I, if I need to do that. Um, but this is what I'm done for, for today. This took 20, 25 minutes. The rest was a little bit of research and, and uh, the beginning of a rewrite. And for my timer today, I watched uh, Marshall Lee of Donkey Jog Productions, or actually Marsh Makes Comics is his YouTube channel. He had a video on his werewolf story for the anthology, his 100 days, and it was about 20 minutes long. Then I'm looking up to remind myself what I was watching. Then I watched uh, David Hinckley, uh, Hingley, Hinkley, Hingley, David, David, and he is also doing a story and also doing 100 Days, so I watched his first video, uh, which was about five minutes, and then I watched someone else's video, Art by Galen, who also had another five-minute video. He is not doing the anthology, but he is doing 100 Days of Making Comics, so I watched his first video. You add those up, it comes to about a half hour. That's how I time myself. That's it for right now. I don't know what else, what else, what else, what else, LMNOP. That's it for now. All right, what did we do? Well, we went out to eat, and I had a lovely, lovely, awesome eggnog milkshake. Yeah, we went to a place called Val's, which is a hamburger, old-fashioned kind of hamburger dinery place, and usually I get a grilled cheese or eggs or something, and uh, they still had their Christmas lights on. I took some of mine down today. I thought it was the last one, but they still had theirs up. They were playing Christmas music. It was great. It was like a little piece of Christmas, and they had eggnog milkshakes, which I had and was delicious. One of the best milkshakes I've ever had. Uh, and then we came home and had a little mini Christmas, had a few extra little presents. I left the tree up. Mom was here. So it was like, it was perfect timing to have our little extra mini Christmas that we went out to a place that was still celebrating Christmas uh, on the 9th, the 8th, you know, of January. So, oops. Is this still recording? Yes. So good. On the 8th of January. So awesome. Uh, came home. Did a little bit of work on that client piece I have to done, I have to done, have to have it done Friday. I'm not sure if I have to have it done Friday morning or Friday night. I think it's Friday morning, so which means I have to have it done by Thursday. Today is Tuesday. I plan on doing more work on it. My mom and Q just went to bed, but I'm kind of tired and I still got to feed the cats and do a few other things. So I think I might stop where it is. I'll, I, I can't really show you the likenesses and stuff, but it's going to be the Back to the Future car with two people done as... Doc and Mark basically is what I'm working on. So I have the rough done and I'm, I'm going in and doing the digital inks and blah, 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 blah. But I think I'm starting to do a bad job because I'm getting tired. So I think I'm going to stop. Uh, and luckily, I already did my work on Werewolf because otherwise I have to do that right now. So I'm glad I did it earlier, uh, earlier in the day, day eight, day eight being today. And today is now over. So on to you, day nine. Day eight begins. Right, just because that was just a day, whatever, or is it day nine? Ah, oh, crap. I might have messed that up. It is day nine. Day nine. Uh, 100 Days of Making Comics. And I, it's morning-ish. It's 11.30. I've had breakfast. Said hello to my mother. And we are going to go out to a little Japanese park area and then go to Target. But she's taking a shower getting ready, so I'm going to try to get some work done for a minute while I can. And the work I'm going to get done, well, I'm going to, depending on how long she takes, I might do my 30 minutes. But... Uh, last night I got more, well, yesterday I got more things from my letterer for the Heart Rate 4. Uh, I was trying to look at them last night, actually after I finished the video, and I was just so tired that it, I, I was reading it and read because it was like reading dialogue and making sure it flowed, and it was that thing where I'm like, okay, they said that, okay, they said that, wait, what? Okay, they said that, you know, like I just kept rereading it and it's not processing, so I'm going to try to look at that real quick now is what I'm going to do. All right, I finished with the lettering stuff, going over it, sending my notes, etc., Another example, this balloon here, he did fine, he put what I wanted, it's in the right spot and everything, but I realized that for this character I wanted a treatment on it like it was an evil voice or, you know, gravelly voice, and I forgot to indicate that. So that's my fault, but I still had to ask him to change the bubble a little bit there. And then similarly down here, uh, there's these sound effects when he's firing, and the enemy over here is firing and he has a cool sound effect here, and I was wondering if there should be sound effects here. So for this, I said, hey, please change it. For this, I literally said, hey, I wonder if some sound effects where they're hitting might make sense, but I left it up to him. So hopefully I'm doing a good job with a balance back and forth of, hey, this is what I need you to do, and also collaborating and like asking his opinion. So yeah, that's my lettering. I'm not counting any of that towards my 30 minutes, even though 
tech, like I said, it, it, it is personal comic book work that I'm making time for, and it is the Hari 4, um, which might be the main thing that the 100 days end up being later, but for right now, I'm only counting time I work on the werewolf story. That's my 30 minutes. Anything else is just bonus. What's that you say? You want to know if I've done my time? Yeah, I've done my time. I've done my 30 minutes. I did, this is page three of the layouts. As I talked about yesterday, I was trying to get going on this, but I couldn't, I don't know, I couldn't get it straight in my head. I couldn't figure it out. So I worked on, this is an Altered Beast sort of homage here that I, I still need to work on a little bit. I don't know if it'll be exactly like this, but this was sort of why I was referencing that yesterday. Uh, and then I have the rest of the panels going on here. I tried, I tend to do a lot of really basic layouts and I try to shake it up sometimes, but part of my problem, as I've said, is my writing is so dense that just to fit all the words and information, I would have to, to be able to have the room to play and, and be more formalistic with the art form of comics, I would need to turn this into like two or three pages, which sometimes I could do, but in this format I can't. That is a failing of my own, but it's not what I'm trying to correct right at this moment. However, I did try to get a little bit more interesting with the panels, as opposed to just doing a straight, you know, squares and rectangle grid style. Um, I did the whole page. I thought I was only getting half of it done, and it was only 30 minutes I put in. But I, I might have to rework it a little bit with, like, I kind of indicated the balloons and the lettering and stuff, but I think it still might be a little bit squishy. Uh, and this panel particularly, I'm not happy with, and then this one a little bit too. The, the, the rest of them are, it's mostly there, but I guess what I'm saying is, tomorrow I'm not going to start working on this. I'm going to work on this again. But for now, at least I have a rough first pass of the layouts of this page. For day nine. <clears throat> this, guy, this guy's swimming. Oh, he's found a friend. Oh, that's a slider. See how they have this? Still day nine, but out of the house and at a lovely area. It's lovely. I'm at a place called Witch Witch, which is a sandwich shop, and they do the thing where you can draw on bags. I actually saw Jim Lee did one and left it somewhere, and then somebody went and scoffed it. Um, but you get a lot of this kind of stuff. It's sometimes better drawing. But then check this out. Somebody did Into the Spider-Verse. They use like white and red and like super deluxe stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay, still day nine, and as you saw, I had a little bit of adventure time with my mother, but still got my 30 minutes in, worked a little bit on the horror, and I just did some work on that client piece. Uh, I'm not as far along as I'd like to be. I'll probably have to put in some hours during the day tomorrow, uh, which is nothing to the world. It's just a bummer that my mom's here. Um, but maybe I'll do it at night. I don't know. The point is this has to be done by tomorrow night. So maybe I'll stay up late tomorrow. Uh, it's about one in the morning now. I gotta feed the cats and then I'm gonna kind of head into bed and see if I can fall asleep. I don't know if I can, but that's my plan. I'm gonna turn these off and I'm gonna turn off day nine. Hey, it's day, black. Hey, it's day 10, almost midnight. And uh, I am, I haven't done my 30 minutes yet. I will. I need to get, I need to get this client thing done before I go to bed tonight. And I, I'm making progress. I worked on it during the, uh, ma, 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 ma. Never mind. So anyway, it's quarter to one or something. I, uh, I've been working on the client job. I'm almost done. It's taking a little longer than I thought. I'm mainly just coloring, but uh, I still got to, all the flats are done, and most of the shading is done for the car and one of the people, but I gotta do the shading on the other. But the background, I kinda of fudged with and made designy. That took a little longer than I thought, and I still have to do my 30 minutes, and I'm tired. Uh, I went out with my mom today. We I, I did work during the day, but then we went out, walked around town, went out to eat, went to go see Aquaman again. Well, again for me, the first time for her, she loved it. It was all good times, um, but I thought I'd be able to finish up a lot quicker than I am able to, and it's fine. I'm gonna do it. I'm just tired. Okay, I finished it up. I blacked out the faces so you can't see, but you can see basically it's reenacting the poster of the first movie, but continuing the car and adding Doc in the background. And so this is, this is what I've been working on. This is the thing that has to be delivered tonight. It's done, I'm gonna send it to him. Hopefully they don't have any revisions, but if they do, I'll deal with that later. I, I've sent them the, the final or semi-final or whatever you wanna call it. The other three I owe them I could deliver the end of this month. I also got another corporate character client wanted me to do a single image I asked if I could deliver it in two weeks so that I could do it after my mom's here, and they said that's fine. And if they didn't, I would ask for a rush fee because it's not like I was in the middle of a job. They just sort of showed up, hey, can you do this? And sometimes I can, but if I can't, I usually tell them, and then they either say that's fine or they pay extra. Awesome. Works for me. I've been working for them for like eight years. It's not a ton of money, but it's constant money. So, you know, that's happiness go-goes. Um, I did a little bit of... Did I work on the horror? No. I have a few more lettering things I have to go back and forth on the horror about, which I haven't done, but I think it's mainly like, look at this and see if it's okay. I don't know. I didn't even read the emails. There's like three of them. I'll check those out tomorrow. I'm going to do my 30 minutes now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I should work on the layouts for page four, but I'm feeling kind of burnt, so I'll try to do that, and if it doesn't work out, I'll just, I don't know, work on a design or something to be productive for my 30 minutes.
over here now. Well, that's because I'm done. Did a little over 30 minutes. I did decide to work on the layout. I managed to, I didn't get a lot of work done, even though I put in, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes. I kind of broke it down to the panels first, which I usually don't do, but I, I, there's a lot of panels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I was breaking down these three panels, which were the ones that I thought might give me the most trouble. It was actually two panels, and then this was supposed to be something different. I ended up breaking the two panels into three panels, and it still seems a little crowded and wordy. I cut some dialogue out, I, you know, that like there was another line or two in here that I cut out, and it's still heavy. This is a case where if I had another page, I would add a page, but because I don't, I'm trying to make it fit. It might not have worked. I, I got it to this point. Again, this is sort of a first pass. I'm gonna let it go. These should be okay. This was gonna be one large panel of a certain thing. Now I think because I bumped that panel, I'm gonna have to put two here. So it'll go from being a seven panel page to an eight panel page. Uh, and I'm gonna figure out how to divide it here. And I, I wanted to keep reworking it, but I'm just gonna go forward, similar to this page where I might have to go back and revisit it. I'm just gonna go forward, see how that feels, and then revisit all four pages. Maybe put the lettering in and then see how cramped it is. But I'm just gonna keep moving forward to have a first layout rough draft all the way through is my plan even though I'm worried about this working correctly. But regardless, that's day 10 down. So good goes for that and good goes for you. I'll see you tomorrow for day 11. Day 11, I'm in Berkeley, it's raining, but there's lights on the trees, so that's something. <laughs> I'm here at Rudy's Can't Fail Cafe. This is the bathroom area. It looks like the basement of CBGB's. And uh, look, dragons and unicorns. Not quite werewolves and dragons, but reminding me that I have to do my 30 minutes when I get home. I also have my TRL show tonight. Yeah. <sighs> hey, it's 10.30, day 11, Friday. I'm in bed. I'm not sleeping. I'm just laying here for a second. Over the covers, you see. Wearing my clothing, you see. Um, was out all day with my mom, who again is from, in from out of town. I... Didn't do any work today. I mean, I did a couple emails, but I basically ran around with her all day. Didn't hear back from my client that the thing I had to send him this morning, not even an acknowledgement that he got it. And I asked him for one, like, hey, just want to make sure you got it. So I don't know what's up with that. I held it my end of the deal, but it's always weird when I'm like, hope he doesn't, th like, didn't get it and thinks, like, you know, I don't know. I start thinking, like, I'm going to be blamed for this somehow, but I'm sure it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired and uh, I got to do my 30 minutes, but I'm not even going to do that right now. I got to do something else, but I'll do my 30 minutes. It's it's coming. It's coming. All right. It's 1130. I'm tired. I was out all day. Had a good time, but I did get rained on and uh, I don't feel so good. I had a taco salad earlier today and we'll just leave it at that. Uh, I'm tired because I didn't get much sleep last night and I uh, just want to take a shower and go to bed, but... I'm a professional, so I'm going to do my 30 minutes. Um, yeah. See over there? Those are two Star Wars figures that I got recently. I was very excited to find them when I was out with my mom. I bought them. I had a gift card. I only had to pay for one of them, half of one of them. And uh, I've been excited to open them up, play with them, look at them. Haven't had time. So what I did, I'm talking to you while I'm turning on my computer and setting up so as not to waste time. So what I did was, uh, while I was working yesterday, watched videos, review videos of toy reviewers opening up those figures, comparing them to the others, talking about them. So I didn't have time to do it myself, so I watched people, videos of people enjoying the toys that I have right behind me that I didn't have time to enjoy. I will eventually, but uh, yeah, multitasking, getting work done. I'm professional. <sighs> I'm not happy. I promise you I've done over 30 minutes, uh, maybe 40. I am tired and so I was really just gonna do the bare 30 today, but I, here's the thing. I didn't wanna cheap out and just do a werewolf design. I wanna work on the layouts, but it's really getting in the weeds on this page. It's, it, I'm trying to push through, but like I said yesterday, I feel like I need some revisions and rewrites. And so I was editing the text as I was doing the layouts and saying, well, there's too much here. Maybe I can cut out a word or a sentence. But I, try, I, I left this one big panel to fit all the words and imagery for that. And now I'm splitting it between two and they're both pretty dense. And that's because I took one of the panels from before and moved it around. Anyway, you move one thing, everything else gets affected. That's the point. And 
I, I'm not gonna solve it right now. I'm not gonna, I, I don't know that I could solve it in a half hour if I was wide awake and enthusiastic, and I'm not either of those things. But I put my time in, I made, I don't say I made forward progress, I put work in. Probably needs to be revised, it might be unusable, but I did it, and hopefully it wasn't a waste of time, but more of, hey, I had to get through this to get to the next thing, and I might just have to cut some stuff out either earlier in the book or on this page, probably on this page, to make it all fit. But again, I'm trying to push through to the end to sort of see a little bit what I like best and what I can cut. So tomorrow I'll probably just keep pushing on rather than, than edit everything. But just know that when I show you what I've done, it's not much. And a lot of it was looking at revising the script. And I was even looking at like font sizes and can I, how small can I make the font to make it fit. So I was looking at that sort of thing as well. So it doesn't look like much. And this is it. I had these three done already and this is what I worked on. This took me a very short amount of time. This didn't take me very long. I kind of put these two in, waited them out so you can't read them, and then I've been futzing around with, I have like two boxes equally big, if not bigger, to put here, that even if I could fit them in, it looks terrible, and so I'm just like, blah, blah, blah. And thus with a whimper, but my work done, I will end day 11. <laughs> Guys, it's day 12, and we're at the safari thing, and we haven't even started, but look, there's lemurs, right? They're, they're right flipping. Oh. <laughs> so it's juke. No, it's not juke. It's day 12. Uh, I think I've already said that. Got up pretty much immediately, drove, well, Q drove, but my mother and Q and I drove about two hours up to San Mateo. And then we went to a place called Safari West, which is sort of a zoo. But I say sort of because I personally don't really like zoos. I find them kind of depressing and sometimes the animals are mistreated and it just kind of bums me out. But this is sort of a wildlife preserve that allows you to pay for tours, which helps protect the animals, etc. It's mostly African animals. Um, and I, I, well, I put a, you know what? Here's a couple clips. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that kind of stuff. And it was awesome. It was about two and a half hours. Some of the time I was on top of the truck. Some of the time I was in the truck. Uh, and then we got done and we took a quick break and then we went on a walking tour. We saw birds and other things like this. Okay, so then we did that. Uh, then we drove about an hour and a half, stopped, got some dinner, another half hour-ish, got home. Uh, I had to do a couple cleanup things, feed the cats, housework, etc. And then uh, I sat down and did my 30 minutes. Actually, I did more than 30 minutes. I did about 45 minutes. Finishing the layouts on page four, which I normally would show you at my computer, but Q's in there doing a show and being loud, and I want to be loud over here. So I'm just going to do a little floof. And there you go. That's the, the bottom of the page. So it's good. I got the work done. I'm not, as tired as I am, I, I feel better. Yesterday I didn't feel well. Today I feel fine. Uh, and I'm not as tired as I was yesterday. I am kind of ready for bed. But in a more, oh, I had a full day and I had a good day and it was fun and I'm just ready to be done. As opposed to yesterday, I felt kind of burnt out, tired, not in a good way. So my brain was working better. Um, I didn't revisit those panels before these three. I ma mainly was like, let's pretend those were fixed, which they're not, and just finish it out. And I made the last three pretty usable, in my opinion. So when I revisit it, so I have all four pages laid out completely. Doesn't mean they're flawless, but they're laid out. So I'm gonna revisit it tomorrow, beginning to end, and Assuming I don't find any new problems, assuming I'm happy with most of the choices I've made other than, you know, minor nitpicks and things like that, the thing I most need to do is fix the middle of page four. Because if the top is working and the bottom is working, the middle I know is not working. That's the one part I know is not working. So if I decide, well, top and bottom are working, if I could fix the middle, then I can more or less leave it as is. If I can't fix the middle, then do I cut out the middle or do I cut out part of the top or part of the bottom? Or... Do I leave everything on that page and cut something out in the first three pages to move some of page four back to page three, two, one, et cetera? I don't know the answer to that. This is just what I know I'm going to have to deal with when I go back to it. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I don't remember if I mentioned this, so I'm filming this later. But on day 11, I did TRL, Twitch Request Live show, 
And the first thing I did was for myself, I did a werewolf design and it was just a werewolf out of my head. And you can go watch, I put that video up on YouTube, really up before this. Um, and it was sort of the culmination of all the practice I've done. But again, just out of my head quickly, not trying to make a finished product, not trying to do anything, but it was a werewolf and it was practice. And I don't remember how long I spent on it, 10 minutes, 15, 20, whatever it was. And I thought about including that towards my 30 minutes. I also thought about trying to multitask and work on my comic page in between my requests. And I was like, well, I don't want to do that because typically I just draw a quick character and it's going to be weird if I'm doing like page layouts in this video format because I wanted to multitask because I was tired and I didn't have a lot of time and whatever else. But in the end, I decided, no, that won't work. And if I use this werewolf, it would kind of be cheating because it's just a random werewolf I was drawing anyway. And it would be a way of me getting around and like forcing out 30 minutes. And while I wasn't happy with the work I did do, I was happy that I forced myself to actually work on the actual comic. Same as I am today. And today went better. Still not great. The first couple of days working on layouts was better. But I, I always feel more satisfied. Like even when I was writing, I got to the end of the really rough draft. I got to the end of the outline. I got to the end of the script. Doesn't mean it's perfect, but it's finished. And I know I could go back and revise it. That's why I like doing things in stages rather than working on one panel forever, one page forever, because I am a bit of a perfectionist. Not that I think my work is ever perfect. I'm my own worst critic. And it took me a while because I, people would say I'm a perfectionist and I didn't like that. Cause I'm like, no, that makes it sound like I want my work to be perfect and it's gotta be the best. And I don't think that I have, you know, self doubt like everybody does. And half the time I draw something, even if other people like it, I think it's garbage. So, you know, I don't like the term perfectionist because I think everything I do is very far from perfection, but I accept that I fit the stereotype of the perfectionist, like a lot of artists do, in that I keep reworking it and reworking it and reworking it. And I don't know that I ever get it to where I want it to be, but I keep trying. And to combat that, that's why instead of reworking that panel 15 times or that person or that car or that paragraph, I do it a couple times and then move on. And I rework it five, six times but with days, weeks, months in between. So I could revisit it. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. Oh, I know how to fix it. Oh, I've, I've gained more skills and it's easier to fix. Or, hey, this is the sixth time I've done it. I've been working on it for two months. It's just gotta be done. I'm just not that good. This is as good as I could do right now and it makes me sad, but it's better to get done and maybe the next thing will be better. So anyway, that's that. So not gonna work on the Horror A4. Um, the good news is, regarding the Horror 4 I'm, I'm making really good progress on the werewolf's uh, story. Uh, you know, please state and turn me into a werewolf. And I think it would be extremely unlikely that I won't be done with it well before the 100 days. Um, and so then I will transition full-time into working on the Horror 4 Also, once my mother leaves, I'll have a couple weeks before I start taking commissions again. And hopefully I can catch up on my client work. And, you know, I, my, my goal is always to be really just get done with the Horror 4 issue 3. Like, it's... I could kind of see the finish line-ish. I'm more than halfway there and I wanted to be done and I digress. The point is, well, job me. Okay, good enough. Good enough me. Good enough me and great you. That's the end of day 12. Thanks.